is Emma Strong. I am a learning and development program manager at Veritex Legal Solutions. And we're a company that does court reporting, um, works with the court reporting industry. And my role is really focused on our onboarding program. So bringing on our new employees. And we do a lot of acquisitions as well. So bringing folks on through acquisition is another part of my role as well. The LCD model is a really unique perspective. And I think the fact that it works well together with existing tools and models is a really big plus to how it works because it doesn't mean that you have to completely scrap everything that you already know or have been working with in order to implement it. You get to still work with the processes and methodologies that you've worked with in the past, but it just adds a different little twist on that and adds a different perspective that can bring some fresh ideas to the table. And so I think it's really worth checking out I am really lucky in that my manager is really interested in the LCD model as well. That's actually part of how I got my current job is because my manager and I both attended the LCD like monthly dialogues. And so that's how I actually got connected with her and even found out about the job that I have now. We are both pretty on board with the model and pretty interested in implementing it at our company. And so we actually, before we went to the workshop, we were doing like a weekly meeting where we were going over the book kind of chapter by chapter and talking about how we could implement it at our company and just how it kind of fit with our overall strategy with L&D. So yeah, I owe a lot to the, the LCD model. The LCD model was a big part of how I got my current role because of those monthly dialogues. That's how I was connected with my now manager on LinkedIn. And that's how I found out about the role. And so I just really appreciate create the community aspect and creating that because I quite literally would not be where I am right now without it. And so, yeah, I just really appreciate that aspect. I think the thing that's the most memorable for me is just taking the time to work through each of the tools in every single step of the tool, because it really does like build to the conclusion of coming up with your learning cluster. And so by working through the tool step by step, it really helped me to kind of wrap my head around what I was doing with it and how I was going to implement it. And so having those tools available and then being able to kind of just work through them on my own and then get feedback was like the biggest takeaway for me was just kind of working through the tool step by step. It's really great to get to talk a little bit more in depth and also ask questions and get those questions answered by Crystal and Danielle, who was also facilitating the workshop. And so being able to have that kind of dialogue around it, I think was really helpful because we had some questions that had kind of been collecting over time as we were going through the book that we were able to get answered and clarified through the workshop. And I think also getting to hear other people's perspectives and how they're implementing it or planning to implement it at their companies was really valuable as well. And so being able to kind of have that community aspect was pretty fun too. My learning cluster was a little bit different. I did a learning cluster on learning clusters, so it was very meta. Um, but uh, kind of trying to think about it from the perspective of changing the learning culture at our organization to be one where people do seek out learning assets that fit their needs more actively rather than just doing the training that's assigned to them or required for them to do. And so the purpose of my project was really to think about what can we do to help people understand this new shift that we're trying to bring to how L&D is done at this organization. And so we're thinking that what we'll do is roll out some of the assets and ideas that I created during the workshop in the new year. So kind of like a new year, fresh start sort of vibe. Um, around this learning initiative and trying to kind of work with particularly our 
SMEs and other department managers to kind of champion this new approach to learning that we're hoping people will take on at the company overall. My manager's learning cluster is about implementing our new LMS. So we're getting a new LMS. And so that's very applicable to us right now. We're actually currently creating some of the assets that she came up with in her learning cluster project for the workshop because we are rolling out this new LMS in just a couple of months to everybody. And so um, I have a pilot group going through it right now. So we're, we're actively creating those learning assets. Anyone could be a good fit for it because it could be somebody like me who is relatively new to learning and development, the field of learning and development, um, and is just trying to kind of get a solid foundation of things. Or it could be somebody who's been working in the industry for a long time and is looking for a new approach or a new outlook. And so I think it could really be for anybody, but I would say particularly people who work well and learn well in a collaborative environment would do well with the workshop because it does have that group aspect to it. And there is the buddy that you work with when you're working on your project. And so I think anyone who likes that type of learning environment, regardless of their level of experience in learning and development could probably benefit from it. There can also be scenarios in which L&D is more like the order taker or someone who's kind of just coming in late in the development process to just sort of put some training together really fast to meet a quick need and then kind of moving on to the next thing without going very deep into what the need really is and how it's going to impact the business outcomes. And so I think if more people were aware of the LCD model, I think it would just again, elevate what we're doing and really show the value that learning professionals bring to companies and organizations because it is a really unique skill set and there are so many really talented people in the field. And so I think bringing that professionalism to it and just a little bit of a more strategic perspective um, is really valuable. The book is really helpful. I think it has a good mixture of like explaining the model as well as providing examples. So the examples I think are really helpful in just kind of illustrating the whole process and how it works. And I think the the, the examples really what are what bring it kind of to life for me in the book.